Okay, so let's finish up those questions. So we're gonna continue with this one here. And it says, how many different three digit multiples of five are possible using the digits zero, two, three, five, and eight? Now here it means, make sure you, when, you're, when we're doing these questions, no repeats, okay? Once we've used a digit, it's gone. We can't use it anymore. Okay, so all of these questions, even if it doesn't say no repeats, it's assuming that there are no repeats of digits. So we have to have a three digit number and you wanna try to set up your cases. Yeah, so if uh, a number is a multiple of five, it's going to end in either zero or five. So I'm gonna set up my cases as ends in zero or ends in five. Now there are multiple ways to set up your cases. Your best plan is to set it up so that it makes sense in your head, all right? And this just makes sense to me. So if I end in zero, what are all the other possibilities that I could have? Well, uh, for the first number here, it wouldn't make sense to have a zero, right? So I can't use a zero, but I can use two, five, two, three, five, and eight as a possibility for the first digit. So there's four options here. Now in here, I can use two, three, five, or eight. Um, well, I've already used the zero here, okay? So that's why I am not gonna use it here but I have to minus one of these options because I've used one of them in this first spot. So then there's actually three left and there's only one way to fill that spot. So if I multiply these, that gives me 12. And then if I end in five, uh, so let's say we're ending in five, there's only one way to fill that spot. And what are my options left here? So I can either use a two, three, or eight. I can't use a zero in this first spot because then it's not a three digit number. So there's three ways to fill that spot. And then for here, I can use a zero. Now I could use a zero, a zero, two, three, eight, but no five because I've used the five here and minus one because I've used one of them in the first spot. So there's three options here. So that equals nine. Now we need to add these two together so our total is 12 plus 9, which is 21. Okay, now the next question, same idea. It says using the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, how many digits, three digit numbers, greater than 400 are possible. And I'm gonna write this in again. No repeats. All right, so what are the cases that we're gonna set up? Or do we, how many cases do we need to set this up? We could do it all in one, right? So uh, let's see. What are all the possible numbers that I could use for this first spot? Four, five, six, Four, five, six and seven? So there's four options there. Has to be greater than 400, so I can't use one, two, and three in this first one here. Okay. Because I, the digit, the first digit has to be four, five, six, or seven, because the number has to be greater than 400. Okay. And then, um, how many digits are left to put in here? I've used one of them out of the seven total, so I can use any of them here left over. And then how many here? Five. five. So multiply those together, I get 120 possibilities for that one. Okay. Okay. So for here, my options are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus one, because I've used one here. And then uh, I only have five numbers left to choose from. So that's
that's what's left. That's why I put a five there. Okay. All right. Moving on to the next one. How many numbers? How many of the numbers in part A are odd? Okay. So you've got to decide what your cases are going to be. Okay. Now, whenever a question has to do with odd or even or multiple of this, I tend to lean towards setting my cases using the last digit. So what are all the possibilities One, three, five, seven. of having an odd ending? Four. Okay, so that's how I'm going to set up my cases. So I'm going to have a three-digit number that ends in one, a three-digit number that ends in three, a three-digit number that ends in five, a three-digit number that ends in seven. Okay, so I have to remember that all of these numbers have to be greater than 400. So what are my options for my first digit for each case? Four, five, six, and seven. And then, so there's four options here, right? And then how many is left for the second digit? I've used one here. So I, there's only one way to fill this spot here. So then I have how many left? Five left, okay? Because I've used two of the numbers, okay? Because I'm starting with a total of seven. Okay, so if my last digit is three, for my case that ends in three, <coughs> there's only one way to fill that last spot. Um, now, what can I start with? What can I place here? Four, five, six, or seven? There's four different ways to fill that spot. And then the middle spot, how many digits do I have? I have five left to choose from. Okay. Now, here, for the case that ends in five, what are my options to place here? Four, six, and seven. I can't use a five here because I've used it in the last spot. Okay. So there's one way to fill that last place and then there's three ways to fill this first spot how many ways left to fill out this middle one five because I only have seven in total to choose from all right now if my this last case ends in seven my there's only one way to fill that now what are my options for this first spot for this guy four five and six. I can't use seven. And so there's three ways to fill that. And then how many ways to fill this middle one? Five. Okay. So now I can figure out each of these and then add the total. So how many here? 20, 20, 20 15, 15. My total, if I add these all together, is 70 um, possibilities. Seventy possible odd numbers. numbers. Odd. odd numbers. Okay. Okay. So there's your homework for that. Make sure you do the practice. Okay. So you guys make that happen.